everyone, my name is Abby and I'm going to show you how you can test out digital planning for free today. So first of all, what is digital planning? It's not an app. It's actually a planner PDF template that you're using in some sort of PDF annotation app like GoodNotes or Noteshelf for notability. And you're just writing in it, you're typing in it, you are highlighting and adding stickers and photos and duplicating it and all these fun little ways to like customize your planner. And we love to recommend this for anyone who kind of already has an idea of what digital planning is, but isn't really sure if like, will this work on my device, especially if it's a device other than an iPad. This is a great way to test out the functionality of your app or device. First of all, you are going to need some sort of PDF annotation app. And if you're using an iOS device, we really recommend using the app GoodNotes. It is free for the first three documents. And then you also have Colonote, which is free. And then you have apps like Noteshelf and Notability, which you will have to pay a one-time fee. I believe the price ranges from like five to $10. If you're using something like an Android tablet, we recommend using the app Noteshelf. Um, for Android mobile, we recommend using the app Soto. And then for the PC devices, we recommend using the app Drawboard. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna click on the link in our description to get to this page here, or you can go to the Passion Planner website free downloads and go to samples. You're just gonna enter your email over here and click on download. Okay, so you should receive an email that looks like this. We're just gonna click download now. And this is important if you're not used to downloading on Safari, nothing is going to pop up to tell you that your download is finished. You'll actually see this icon in the top right corner here where you can see the downloaded file. So I'm gonna click on it. And before we do anything, we need to unzip this folder. so. I can either tap on it or if you have an older version of iOS, you may need to long press on it and click on uncompress. And then from there, you're going to have your free sample planner as well as your free sticker. So this is the planner and here are the stickers here. So I'm going to open up the planner file, click on the share icon. And then I'm going to use good notes. So I'm just going to scroll on over till I see if I don't see good notes, then you can also click more and go to good notes here. And then from there, I can go ahead and start planning. Um, something important to note, because this is probably one of our most frequent questions um, we get asked is like, how do I actually click on the tab? So if you'll notice in the top right corner here, there is a pencil with a dash through it. That means you're in editing mode. This means that you can write in your planner. And if you want to actually click on those tabs, you would click on this icon again and now you're in navigation mode, so I can actually click on the tabs now. And then if I want to import those free stickers, I'm gonna go back, let's go to our files again over here, click done. I'm gonna click on the stickers folder here. Now, since I'm using GoodNotes, I'm gonna be using this specific file, so I'm gonna long press on it, click share, and let's go ahead and open it in GoodNotes. Um, and if you use the GoodNotes files, they already come pre-cropped for you. So I can just copy it and paste it straight into my planner here. If you plan on using a different app such as Colonote, let me show you right now how I would import my planner into there. Click on the planner file click on the share icon and let's go ahead and find call a note. Import it straight into there. And now I'm going to show you the difference with the stickers. So since you're not using good notes, it's gonna look a little different. I'm gonna actually split screen um, call a note with my files app. So I'm gonna click on these dots in the top here open up my files app and let's go back and go to our stickers folder here. Now, if you're using any other app besides GoodNotes, you're going to use the PNG stickers. So these just mean that they are um, photo files. So what I like to do actually is I like to long press on a sticker and drag it straight into my planner here. Again, it's going to vary depending on what device you're using or what app. And that is how to 
start digital planning for free, feel free to let us know if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and stay tuned for more videos.